vai ser game. Welcome everyone back to Twisted Gaming TV. Today's video I'm going to talk about my PlayStation 5 regret. Okay, so last year during launch I was able to get two PlayStation 5 consoles. Um, there's a reason why I bought two at the time. Uh, it wasn't to resell it or anything and to keep one. Um, one of them I was going to put in the game room like you see right here that's here and then the other one I was gonna have in my bedroom uh, so when I'm not in the game room and I just wanna lay in bit bleh, 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 lay in bed and uh, play a PlayStation 5 you know then I could do it well I held on to it for a long time and I never put it in the bedroom and that was my mistake not to open it and put it in the bedroom so then a, a friend earlier this year that I work with, he, uh, his son, I think his son was 17 years old or whatever, or maybe 19, I don't know. But uh, his son wanted a PlayStation 5. And I was basically telling him, well, you know, to get a PlayStation 5, you really gotta, <clears throat> you really gotta work um, for it big time, like going on the website, listen to YouTube videos and trying to figure out when they're going to come up and then you know then you have to worry about the bots buying them and this and that or whatever and I I feel sorry for him you know because he has a good kid and everything you know and he wanted a PlayStation 5 and you really can't get them you know what I mean it's not easy so then I told him well you know uh, I have a second PlayStation 5 if um you know, if you want to buy it from me, I'll sell it to you, you know, for 600 bucks. Um, because with taxes and everything, I think it comes out to like 556. And I told him, well, the $44 is a, a finder's fee because I went through a lot of trouble to get it. <laughs> so, um, and then he was going to get back to me. And then after I told him that, I was like, oh man, I should not have told him because now I'm only going to have one PlayStation 5. Um, and then, of course, he hit me up the next day and said he's down. I was like, darn it. It's like, darn. But I'm a man of my word, so I brought the system up to to my work with me. Gave me $600 cash, and a couple of nights later, he said, boom, his son loves it. He loves it. Made me feel really good inside. But uh, ever since then, I felt regret it sometimes because I want to sometimes I want to lay in the bed and play my PlayStation 5 right and I can't because I you know I have to come up here and play it but um you know because I don't want to I don't want to unplug this put it in my room play it one night and then drag it back up here like if I'm doing YouTube videos with it and then you know it's good to have too you know and yes I have plenty of PlayStation 4s that play most of the same games but then when you get addicted to the the graphics of the PlayStation 5 and the frame rates, you don't want to play a PlayStation 4 no more. You know? Why are you going to want to play Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto 5 on a PS4? Um, well, you can still play the Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS4 and the graphics is no difference yet. But you get my point. So I've regretted it ever since because they're... PlayStation 5s are hard to get, you know, I got them when it launched at $500 a piece, you know, and, you know, I'm like, darn, man, but I'm not going to go on eBay and, and buy a second one for $1,000, you know what I mean? That's stupid. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I do the right thing, or was I stupid selling my second PlayStation 5 to a friend and his kid? Either way, uh... I know I did a, a, a good deed for it, you know. Uh, I'm not one of those people that, you know, need 20 systems and somebody else wants one, and but I'm, I'm getting them all, you know what I mean? I'm not like that kind of person. So that's why I sold it to him, you know. I felt good about it, but I was like, 
man, then I think, you know, I wish these PlayStation 5s were really more available, you know, because I would buy one for $500 again like I did at launch so I could have a second one in the house, you know, and then I'd have my one up here. Because sometimes, you know, you just want to lay in the bed and you just want to play, you, you just want to game on, you know, and I don't want to have to come up here every time just to, the game when I'm not like you you know doing YouTube videos and stuff but uh anyways it's a great system I wish I still had two I only have one now this is my baby well and the other reason why I bought two at the time too in case if in case if one didn't show up that was that was one reason and you know being canceled or whatever and the other reason was if one broke okay because I, I have a friend that got a PlayStation 5 for his kids, and it has, it has had a few problems, and it's broke two or three times. And he's had to get it sent out to get fixed, which I'm lucky I've never had the problem with mine, but some people do. So that's another reason why I had two case of mine breaks. I could, you know, open the other one up and, and still have one. Because, you know, if your PlayStation 5 breaks, you know, I mean, you're crap out of luck. You know, if it can't be fixed or it's, or it's damaged or something, you know what I mean? Anyways, so just want to make this video. I regret about this stuff every day, so write in the comments and please make me feel better, okay? All right, till next video. Uh, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always comment back. Till next video, peace.